Study designs. Types of epidemiologic studies. Types based on purpose. First, assess efficacy, such as RCT, randomized clinical trial. Second, identify cause and risk factors, which include cohort, case control, case crossover, case series, cross-sectional, and ecologic studies. A flow chart showing the types of study designs. Case control studies. Case control study is an observational analytical type of study. Purpose, to establish causal relationship etiology and association between risk factor and disease. Examples of environmental and health exposures such as smoking, benzene, and obesity associated with diseases like lung cancer, leukemia, and CADS, respectively. Study design. First, select cases and controls. Second, go back in time and check cases and controls for risk factor exposure. Third, measure association by calculating odds ratio. Example, first, select cases and controls. Second, check for past exposure by reviewing medical records or interviewing. Calculate proportions exposed in both cases and controls. Then, calculate odds ratio by cross-multiplication. Interpretation of odds ratio. If OR equals 1, there is no association between exposure and disease. If greater than 1, there is positive association. If less than 1, there is negative association between exposure and disease. A case control study example from our lab. Analytical cross-sectional studies. This design is observational analytical type. Study design. First, define your population. Second, determine presence or absence of exposure and disease in each person simultaneously, with four possibilities. Third, measure association by odds ratio, examples of exposure and disease. A design used to investigate etiology of a disease. It's a snapshot or a slice through population in a certain period of time. Both exposure and disease are determined simultaneously. Limitation, which happened first, exposure or disease? Therefore, cohort or case control studies are better to establish causality. A cross-sectional study from our lab. Case crossover studies. A design to determine etiology of acute outcome. Short event. The same person is a case and a control. Matched case control but at different times, risk period and control period. Example, MI and air pollution. Statistics, odds ratio calculated by conditional logistic regression. Four patients with MI exposed to air pollution. Note risk period and control period and the comparison between them for each patient. Randomized clinical trials. The king of studies. RCT is an experimental type of design, which is superior to observational designs. Purpose of RCTs. Establish efficacy and effectiveness of new drug or vaccine, new treatment of disease, a new health or medical care technology, a new screening program, new way of organizing and delivering health service. Design of RCT. First, select study population using assigned inclusion-exclusion criteria. Second, randomly assign study groups by blinding method to achieve unpredictability and to prevent subjective bias. Then, follow your study groups for improvement and unimprovement. Third, use t-test or ANOVA to compare efficacy of treatment. List of statistical analyses for RCT based on type of data and number of groups. Phases of RCT, phase one, limited number for safety. Phase two, larger number for efficacy and safety. Phase three, large scale for effectiveness and safety. And phase four, post-marketing surveillance. An example of RCT. RCT should be registered before start. Cohort studies, the queen of studies. 
it's an observational analytical type of study. Purpose to establish causal relationship and association between risk factor and disease, examples of exposures and corresponding diseases. Design of cohort study. First, select study population based on assigned inclusion and exclusion criteria. Second, non-random selection of study groups, long-term follow-up for the development of disease. Thirdly, use relative risk or odds ratio to measure association. Example, a cohort study. First, select the exposure. Second, follow up for the development of disease. Calculate double R by calculating CHD rate in smokers relative to CHD in non-smokers. Or, calculate odds ratio by calculating odds that a smoker develops CHD relative to non-smoker developing CHD. Interpretation of relative risk. When double R equals one, no association with equal risk between exposed and unexposed. When double R greater than 1, positive association. With risk in exposed, greater than risk in unexposed. When double R is less than 1, negative association. With risk in exposed, is less than risk in unexposed. In Cohort study versus randomized trial. Both compare exposed with unexposed. RCT is randomized, while cohort is non-randomized. RCT is experimental, while cohort is observational. Cohort study versus case control study. Case control selects cases and controls, then checks for exposure in both. While cohort selects exposure, then looks for development of disease. Case control is retrospective in time, while cohort is prospective in time. Types of cohort study, prospective and retrospective. Both designs are identical in comparing exposed and unexposed. Prospective is future. It's called concurrent or longitudinal. While retrospective is future in the past, it's called historical or non-concurrent prospective. Both differ in time calendar. A famous prospective study is the Farmingham study. A famous retrospective cohort study is the Cowan's breast cancer study. Case series and case report studies. Both case series and case report are observational and descriptive studies. The purpose of these studies is to report novel findings or generate hypotheses, or as a screening tool. Case report involves describing one case only, while case series deals with multiple cases. Both of them do not have controls. Therefore, no comparison, no statistical analysis, inference, and they are both prone to bias. However, they are inexpensive and time-saving. A case report and a case series study from our lab. References